wasn't always like this. A man sitting in a chair, contemplating his love life, while the girl of his dreams beats the crap out of him. There was a time when I loved her and she loved me. You know, we were a textbook romance. Cute girl meets cute guy. Cute guy buys flowers for cute girl. You know, cute girl falls in love with cute guy. Cute couple grinding in a sales dance. Textbook romance. We were very gentle to each other until I met someone else. How can you do this to yourself? We were meant for each other. You've no reason to leave me for that, that scumbag excuse of a partner. Thought I was never going to find out. What did you take me for? Another stupid girl blinded by love? I, I was... Don't give me any of your crap. I've heard it before. You promised we were going to be happy. You promised we would live life as one. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. Please don't hold this against me. I just want what's best for us. I just want us to be happy. It's just... We're meant for each other, and, and I don't want to destroy something so beautiful. <sighs> and to think, people thought I was the crazy one. <laughs> Who the heck ties up their ex and beats the crap out of them, and then tries to get me to take her back? <laughs> there, there was one thing I didn't understand, though. How come you would never be seen in public with me? It still boggles my mind. Oh, please, don't ask such stupid questions. You already know the answer. Besides, you never answered mine. Why on earth did you leave me for her? You want to know why? You don't know why the hell I'd leave you? <laughs> it sounds stupid, but it's because you're too perfect. You're everything I've wanted. Perfect body, perfect intellect, even personality. Everything I've wanted since I've hit puberty. That's what you are. <laughs> That's because I am the girl of your dreams. If you want something less desirable, you should have thought about it earlier. What? That, that doesn't make sense. What do you mean you are the girl of my dreams? Think about it. How did you want to meet your first girlfriend? I wanted to have her come up to me while I read the newspaper and start a conversation. Exactly. And guess how we met? You came toward me while I read a newspaper and started a conversation. Wait, if you're not... Who left all those notes in my mailbox and... You wrote all those letters yourself at 3 a.m. You would head over and drop them in the mailroom before doing your radio shows on Tuesday. But why imagine you? Don't be silly, dear. Back in February, all your closest friends had a partner. Every time you saw one of your friends, they'd be with their partner, laughing and having a good time. By the time Screw Your Roommate rolled in, you were ready to crack. You were so determined to have a date that you had no other choice than to create beautiful me. So you mean, all that time that we... it was actually just me? That's right. And you have to admit, it's the best you've been getting. It's all I've been getting! But now I actually have a real girlfriend. Why, why are you still here? Shouldn't you have vanished by now? The brain is a funny thing. You wanted a girlfriend so badly, you gave me my own emotions, my own personality, my own pet peeves, and most importantly, my own mind. You gave me the ability to think for myself. Ethan? Ethan? Ethan, you'll look at me when I talk to you! Look, I, I just want us to be happy. Who's that at the door? I've never heard his voice before. It's no one important. Um, no, he's, he's not around. He left the door open, though, so I decided to come in. I'm just one of Ethan's friends. I was just closing up his place. He called me a minute ago to tell me he's away at some, some frisbee tournament and wanted me to lock his room. You know how he is. Yeah, I'd love to go. Is all that we see or seem but a dream within a dream? <laughs> <laughs>